Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors, I'm Erica. On today's video, I am going to be doing a flip through, maybe a little bit of chatting um, while we look at the colors make you happy. I think this is volume two and volume three. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip through both of these because they're both just so stinking cute. And I had a request to flip through each, so um, we'll start with this one. Um, each book comes with a cover. There is, ooh, that's probably shiny for you guys. Sorry about that. There is a um, pretty shiny printed cover. Um, I don't think that that would be colorable. It might be a little too slick. You might be able to use alcohol markers on it, but um, yeah. And then there's a, a um, like a vellum page, a couple of vellum pages, and they have a, a nice fine print on them. I'm not sure exactly what those are for, but they're super cute. Um, and then we have a title page, which is adorable. There's still some images in here that you could color if you wanted to finish that off. And then um, I am not sure if this is Chinese. I think it might be. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, I have not used my Google Translate to see what this says. I will eventually, but um, I have not yet. So I like that they give you a couple of, that she gives you a couple of examples of what the artwork can look like. And then picture details kind of of how she blends things and does different things and how to test, you know, colors and everything. Um, it's really cute. So this one, it kind of looks like she's, you know, she's gone through and done the color pencils and then she uses a little bit of a blending solution to blend all those colors together. And that's how she achieved this pretty blended um, heart in the center. And then showing the, adding the dots and the little marker dots and all that stuff. So yeah, that's really cute. Here's another image in the book that she's colored. So you can have another sample, another example. Um, she shows here how she colors in some of the bubbles. She draws them in and colors them because I don't know that those are, yeah, these are these bubbles I think are just things that she's added in. So that's kind of a cool idea so that you can kind of see how she's done that. And then here's a title page that you can color. And we get into the images. I'm going to do a pretty quick flip. I might talk about a couple of these, like these ones. <laughs> These ones were so stinking adorable when I saw them. I was like, oh my gosh. These little chubby birds and bunnies and ugh, I just love them. And the apples are so cute. How, how can apples be cute? But these apples are cute. I love this wreath page and the little hedgehogs. This dragon was my favorite. It's the cutest dragon I've ever seen. So, okay, so now I'm just gonna flip. <laughs> This would be a really good one for like Easter. Make sure that I'm not missing pages. Yeah, I love these little goldfish and pandas. And these cute little fairies. babies. Storks are bringing the babies. These piggies are so stinking cute. <laughs> I love them. They're so adorable. More bunnies, cute bunnies. Little egg page. I really like this one too. I can imagine all the honey dripping and the lemon color. That's just, that would be such a pretty page to do. I love this owl one. These teddy bears, that's the, see the bubbles are not in here. So that's that image from the front. So that's that one. So cute. Just an interesting way to color it too. So here's a cute whale picture with all bunch of sea creatures. This one, these ones would both be really cute for um, Christmas. I think it kind of went through a little bit of a, there's a couple different holidays and occasions. Like this is a wedding those look like wedding cakes. Really pretty perfume bottles. The doll creeps me out a little bit, but other than all the toys are cute. <laughs> oh, these little puppies are adorable. 
puppies and strawberries. Cute. Ice cream, yum yum. This one is gorgeous. Look how pretty. So pretty. I don't know what, I think these are all like little toys. It's kind of what it looks like. Um, and then this gets into like uh, the, what's it called? Like the yearly, the Chinese New Year signs. Is that, is that the right one? Please again, correct me if I'm wrong. But like, you know how the they each have a an animal as their, each year the animal is different. So there's the mouse and the ox and the tiger and the rabbit and the dragon and the snake and the horse, which is what I am, and the sheep. The monkeys are adorable. It says cock, which is what it's called. <laughs> the dog and the boar. And that is the last page in that one. Super, super cute. And then this other one, we will get, it's again, it's got the um, book jacket cover. This one has an aqua. Um, real smooth cover and then cute little images printed on it in white and this one has the vellum sheets in with a little tiny blue pattern on them and then we get right into the stuff so there's their title page again this image when I saw it on the flip through I was just like holy cow that's so pretty and this is just in a way that she decided that she was going to color it. And I was enthralled with this pumpkin. I Don't ask me why. I know it's a weird thing. But I was like, that is a beautiful way to color a pumpkin. And I'm going to be doing that from now on. Um, but it kind of shows you different tips and tricks on how she colored everything. Again, here's Rapunzel's image. And it's the same thing. She's got different tips on here and how she colored things in. And then we get into the pictures. So this one is Sleeping Beauty, I believe. And then Cinderella. So pretty. And you could color this as all one image if you wanted, because it kind of looks like these patterns go over into this one, or you could do it as two separate pages. Um, this one is probably supposed to be all one page, one layout. This one's Rapunzel. But I can just see this in those Disney colors, the Disney Rapunzel colors, and it's just, it would be beautiful. And then you've got lots of cute little birdies. And then this one is Snow White and the Evil Queen, which I thought was really cool. I love both of those. I know that this is a fairy tale in, but I don't remember what it's called. Um, I, uh, the Airy books um, have a picture similar to that as well. And I, I, I can't remember what that one's called. Uh, Little Mermaid, it's really cute. Underwater castle and some seahorses. Dolphins, I have this one flagged because I'm gonna color it for mermaid, I hope. Um, this cute one. I'm guessing this is Thumbelina, but I'm not positive. Really cute. These adorable little bunnies. I don't know what this one is either, but I like this one as well. Cute little butterfly ponies. <laughs> and rainbows and bubbles. It's, it's just a, that would just be a fun, bright page. This one looks like Tinkerbell to me, but I'm not sure, but it's really cute. And I'm not sure what this one is either, but I like that one too. And then this one is Alice, and I don't know what that one is either, unfortunately. Lots of cute little woodland critters, and then Red Riding Hood. That's what I'm assuming anyway. This is the Matchstick Girl, which I'm not very familiar with that one either. It's not it's not a common fairy tale in the States, um, but I have seen it in a couple of fairy tale books. So 
I'd be interested to learn more about that one. Wizard of Oz. I love this page. It's so, so cute. Lots of cute little ballet tutus. Fancy dresses. Cute little kitty cats. And then this gets into the horoscope, which I really like these pages. So there's Aries. I don't know all of them. But each of them has this the symbol of the, the like the animal that's or animal or symbol that's associated with it, and then it also has the symbol of the the um sign. What am I trying to say? Yeah. The sign somewhere on the on the page. Oh, that's a different sign. Oh. There's mine. <laughs> This one is really cute. Yeah, see, there's the little symbol in there. I'm guessing that one's Leo. I have no idea what that one is, but I really like that picture. Scorpio. I wish I knew these. This one might be Sagittarius, maybe? Oof. Yeah, but I think these are really fun. Pisces, I believe, because the fish. And then in the back of this one, you get a couple little um, smaller little square things that you can maybe turn into tags or something like that for people. And then just a cute little bunny in the back. And then again, you've got this pretty vellum in the back. You could use these pages in the back to be your tester pages for sure because it's the same material, the same page all the way through, the same paper I mean. So yeah. Oh and there's some more uh, samples on the back of the work too. So there is the two adorable books, Colors Make You Happy, Volume 2 and 3. Um, I hope you enjoyed these flip throughs. If you have any questions about anything or um need to correct me on any information, just leave a comment below. And I thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.